guys. So, as you see, got something already done. Got mm, some on. Good. Got the it's bacon good. on. Got to flip the bacon. But while wifey is going home to show y'all what I already done, I'm going to go wash these utensils off. So I can reuse them. So, in the morning, this is so good. Gosh. So in the morning, guys, what's your what's your uh, choice of breakfast that y'all like to I like to cook or eat in the morning? Is it um, sausage, egg, and bacon, grits, waffle, um, egg and cheese, cereal, oatmeal, or oh, banana and some orange juice? <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all eat? That's what do y'all a quick eat? breakfast run. <laughs> yeah, that's like on the go. That's on the go breakfast. So if you like got time to sit and chill with the family, sit and chill with the family. What, what the, what's your choice of breakfast? When I was growing up, I used to we used to eat um eggs. Uh, we used to eat everything like toast, grits, um, cream of wheat. Some stuff he don't even eat to this day. <laughs> yeah, boy. Like, I like grits. He doesn't ever eat grits or cream of wheat. Nah, I don't like cream of wheat. I mm. ate too much as a kid. That's how it be when people eat certain stuff so much they don't want it in their adult life. Especially yeah. if they ate it so much when they was a child. You know one meal I used to hate when I was a kid? What? And Man, I still hate as an adult? Sloppy Joe. Sloppy Joe. <laughs> she already knew I knew. Nah, that's cool. In another meal. Let's see if you know this. Can you remember that? Um, you know, um, it's got something to do with soggy dough. Oh, dumplings. Yeah, Ew. boy, I hate dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below with the y'all uh, dislike and food. Like, everybody don't eat everything. We all have our choices of food. Look at that one, you guys. I'm gonna be for my baby girl. Like she don't really eat a whole waffle. Mm -hmm. Cause you see how you see how they come out. Cause see how they come out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like she don't really eat whole waffles. She she will waste it, you guys. She will waste it. Put it in the refrigerator. So as you see, gotta add a little more cinnamon in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Add a little bit of cinnamon in there. And I didn't put my eggs on with my um with my sauces and my bacon because I like for my eggs to still be hot and fresh. You hear that? You hear yeah, that? What they calling? Yeah, it sound like a sound like a missile going off over there. So, got to get into this. Pull that joint. Oh, almost forgot one thing, guys. A bottle. I almost forgot it. Mm. So. I normally use a knife. Don't forget the butter. To slice it. So I just put it on in there like that. And then I'll do this. Close it. Oh, so like that. so it can like melt through. Mm -hmm. So it can melt and get on the other side of the coils. So I want to get on the other side I of like the coils. I like the maker. So now I can go ahead and pour my mix in. I always pour it in the middle. Pour that joint in the middle so it can even out. See, I normally stop right there. It might look like it's not enough. But as you see, can see it's like flowing over. But I might just pour a little. Oh, right not there. when you close it, it will fill in uh, the four yeah. squares. Okay. Yeah, it'll fill in. Okay. Okay. So what I did now, just shut it. So as you can see on the sides, like if I pull too much, it'll run it's off over. on okay. the side. It's a little mess we can clean up. Mm-hmm. Sometimes cooking gets you know, too major. It gets messy. Nothing too major. Guys, this is what I do on the regular for my thing. Like, 
Let's see if I have downtime. Right, we, we always cook in. We cook all the time. We just got into like recording our stuff, like vlogging stuff. So. See, I don't know how y'all like my bacon. I like my bacon a little crisp. Like, so I could just move this over like that. Move this one over. Move it over like that. Just so I can get some more on. But I still got more bacon that have to go on. So, move that over like that. I don't know if you like it. I love this grill, you guys, because it gets up to 400 degrees like an oven. So, you know it cooks pretty well. Like, it cooks pretty good. Got one long piece. Let me cut that in half. Yeah. <laughs> that savage move. I'm not scared to like burn my fingers because I've been I do this for so I've been doing it for so long, especially with this grill. I guess my fingertips. Yeah, we had this grill for a while. I guess my fingertips and my little nugs. It gets the job done. <laughs> you check your waffle. No, but they have done yet. So what I am going to do is I am going to throw. I am going to throw two more eggs on. I'm going to throw two more eggs in here. Throw two more of these bad boys in. I'm going to make sure it's enough eggs. There's four people in the house. Four people in the house and that's six eggs. So, it's more than enough eggs. So, whip that bad boy up like that. So I guess y'all looking at looking at the spatula. If y'all see the spatula in the video, like, what are you doing with the spatula if he's not using it? But you will see later on in the video what I do with the spatula. Like I like my I like I like my eggs to be whipped and chopped in a certain way. Like if you take away if you like scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs. I use the spatula to softly scramble my eggs instead of scrambling my eggs with a with a fork or you can use like um one of those uh, what you call uh icing icing spreaders the little small the little small white ones y'all might know what i'm talking about comment down below if you know what i'm talking about like those are you can use that to also whip your eggs as well if you want it to be real nice 